holy one of Mount Zion. Lord, we heard about the things you did to the children of Israel, but now our eyes have seen your mighty power. We have seen you shake the nations. We have seen you raise so many cripples in our midst. We have seen you, oh Lord, collide with the neutral stars. Surely, as your word says, what no ear has heard, what no eye has seen, what no heart has conceived, that is what your lady is doing for them that trust in you. Father, we just want to thank you that you have chosen to be our God. You have chosen to inhabit in our praise for this we cherish. Oh, Father, today we invite you that you may be the Lord and Master over this service. Precious Holy Spirit, may you navigate through every heart that you may arrest every heart for Jesus. That even at the end of this service, everyone Jehovah will be refreshed once more. Every heart will be revived, will be mounting up with wings like eagles, will be running and not growing weary because of what you have done. We thank you for the blood of Jesus. But even as you prepare to go out there, it is not by power, not by might, but by your spirit. Lord, I will invite your precious Holy Spirit to continue blowing that breeze of grace, oh Father. The breeze of life, the breeze that will revive us, the breeze that will revive us, oh Father. Lord, we need you more than ever before. Today, Lord, I stand before you. Lord, if I ever needed you, it is now. I ask you, Lord, if you can use nothing, Lord, if you can use a vessel that is so despised of men, nothing to be seen in men. Lord, I thank you. Your word says in the book of 1 Corinthians 1 28 that you use the things that have been despised by men, even to bring to foolishness the wisdom of men. Father, I am that vessel that has nothing to hope up to please me about. But today, Lord, I surrender to you. Precious Holy Spirit, I surrender, I surrender. I surrender everything to you. On my knees, I bow to you, precious Holy Spirit, that you may rule and reign in me. I surrender to you, precious Holy Spirit, allowing the presence of Jesus to saturate into every heart, and the blood of Jesus to reign over this place, and the host of angels to surround this place all around us, O Father. We just want to thank you and bless your name. In the mighty name of Jesus, we have prayed to the Lord. Don't see it yet. one another as I have loved you that you have you, you also love one another by this all will know that you are my disciples if you have love for one another what 
wata, watajua kuwa ninyi ni wanafunzi wangu. Haleluya. Praise the Lord. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Haleluya. Haleluya. So today. Hivyo siku ya leo. The Bible says where there is no vision the nation perishes. So I want to announce to you this was the origin of Nyali Altar. So the Lord spoke and he said that I want you to raise an altar, an altar whose foundation will be based on love. And I know that that day I was serving to Nairobi. So I had to call the members and tell them let's assemble at the altar. The altar used to be up there. There was an altar. There is a, a hole somewhere there. So I told them the Lord is giving instructions on how to raise this altar. Hallelujah church So the instruction the Lord gave us was That you love one another Even as I have loved you That you have love for one another And the Lord said By this all men will know that you are truly my disciples Love for one another. And the Lord was saying, the moment you, you throw away love, then I will depart from you. And on that day, the Lord gave us a divine covenant. Today now you have entered into a divine covenant with me. The covenant of divine protection. We may be unfaithful, but God remains faithful. I've had testimonies of how the Lord has delivered members of this altar in a very, very miraculous way. Because I remember, like there was a day the Mitchell's prophets had given a, a, a prophecy that he has seen a, a house there was a leakage of gas and it was the house was full of gas and but they said you know when a house is full of gas when you lit even a matchbox it should be an explosion yeah, the, the, the house was saturated with the gas. Yeah. And you know, for me, I was like, ah, that one has nothing to do with me. But somehow, somehow, I got so interested in that prophecy. Because I was saying, I don't have small kids to go and play around with the gas, you know. So, this one is a far-fetched story. For me, it has nothing to do with me. So I said, nevertheless, I'll, I'm interested to see where this prophecy will be fulfilled. It didn't even take long. The following day, I was coming from work, but as I was entering the compound, what greeted me was the smell of gas. You can imagine, I was like, are you saying this prophecy will be filled in my house? So you can imagine the person who was opening the gate had no idea but I was just trembling I just ran to 
the kitchen lakini mimi nilikuwa natetemeka nikikimbia tu kwenye jikoni i just connected everything i made sure everything was back to normal i opened all the doors of the windows so that the gas at least could nikazima kila kitu nikafungua mlango na madirisha na kuhakikisha kwamba ile gas imetoka nje but you see in that condition if somebody even leaves the electricity mtu angehakisha hata stima it would have have triggered Obviously Alex was there so desperate. He knew what to do because he was alone with the wife. But at least when he saw me, I don't know, somehow he got hope. So I went and started administering the first aid. Even if I ended up coming myself, I'm like just breathing and out, breathing and out, breathing and out, breathing and out. I give her hope. Nani kampatia tumaini. The baby is coming, don't you worry, we are almost there. Kuja usijali tayari. Breathe in and out, hui, hui na out, hui na out. Ndani, nje na ndani. Overseas, Alex Mukam kidogo. Nikamwangalia muangalizi Alex kutoka huko. I hope for some charity tell her this is very urgent. I remember there was there was an international guest they were in Nairobi so getting the man of God was next week. So, but I told Macharia this is one of the most the emergencies. Please make sure it gets to my lord. Now now now. Hii ni nyeti sana hakikisha nafikia manabii wa Kusa na wa Bwana sasa hivi. And you know it, it is well. Akasema ni vyema. So me I got back. Nami nikarudi. And then when I'm getting back there was a doctor who had come. Na nilipokuwa narudi kuna daktari alikuja. And the doctor is no this is this is an emergency. I have to prepare for the I said calm down. Na daktari anaambia hii calm down. It is going to be well. Nikamwambia daktari tu it will be well. Just relax, relax. Tulia tu. No You know this is an emergency. No, relax. Nikamwambia tulia. At that moment she starts pushing. No, don't push. Say, no, you can't stop it. The Lord is doing it. Within the next two minutes the baby is out. The doctor is wow. I cannot explain this. Akasema siwezi kuelezea hii. So that is when now the nurses start coming back. Hapo ndipo sasa wahudumu wakaanza kurudi. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And now amongst them so they were saying Oh, you know this one they come from they are from the ministry of repentance and holiness where the prophet this these are the people of miracles alafu miongoni mwao wakaanza kunongoneza wakisema unajua hao wanatoka kwa ile huduma atoka na utakatifu hawa ni wa manabii hawa you did see what the lord has done hakika tuone kile ambacho bwana ametenda hallelujah hallelujah i was saying that the, 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 what the lord gave us this the, the vision and the mission The Lord himself gave us that. The Lord gave us the vision and the mission of this altar. 
And he said, as you prepare for the coming of the Messiah, always ensure that you have a sign of my presence in your midst. And this will be the sign that as long as you walk in love, this is the only way that people will know that you are truly my disciples. Because I will make it evident to you that you are my own by giving you divine protection. And I would not want us to forget that. Forget anything else, but never ever forget that. That you are under the cover, the divine protection. But then we must ensure that we are also walking in fear and reverence of the Lord. In the book of John 3.16, for God so loved the world, he gave us his only begotten son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. So God himself is the love giver. And we have to be so connected to him. The vine of love so we must be so connected as long as we are connected to that vine then that love will flow in us we will not struggle to love because in Christ there is a big burdens of love Jesus himself is love Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Every time we don't operate in love, it means that we have disconnected us ourselves somehow from the vine of love. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So, I want us to go to the book of 1 Corinthians chapter 13. Where Paul is talking to us about love. So that you know what love is all about. We cannot talk, we cannot say that we love one another. When in actual fact you don't even know the implications of love. And he says from verse 1, though I speak with the tongues of men and of angels but have not love, I have become sounding brass or a clinging symbol. And though I have the gifts of prophecy and understand all mysteries and all knowledge, and though I have all faith so that I could remove mountains, but have not love, I am not. I am nothing. And though I bestow all my goods to feed the poor, and though I give my body to be burnt, but have not love, it profits me nothing. Love suffers long and is kind. Love does not envy. Love does not parade itself. It is not puffed up. Does not behave rudely. Does not seek its own. Is not provoking. Thinks no evil. Does not rejoice in iniquity, but rejoices Rejoices in the truth. They are so things, believes all things, hopes all things, endures all things. Love never fails. But whether there are prophecies, they will fail. Whether there are tongues, they will cease. Whether there is knowledge, it will vanish. For we know in part and we Hallelujah. Up to verse 8, please. Kama sina upendo mimi si kitu kama ni 
nitatoa mali yote nilionayo kama nikijitolea ni, ni mwili wangu uchomwe moto kama sina upendo hainifaidi kitu upendo huvumilia upendo hufadhili upendo huoni wivu hauna majivuno hauna kiburi haukosi kuwa na adabu hautafuti mambo yake haukasiriki upesi hau, hauweki kumbukumbu ya mabaya upendo upendo haufurahi mabaya bali hufurahi pamoja na kweli upendo huvumilia yote huamini yote hutumainia hutu, yote hustahimili yote upendo haushindi ukamwe lakini ukiwepo unabii utakoma zikiwepo lugha zitakoma yakiwepo maarifa yatapita kwa maana tunafahamu kwa sehemu na tunatoa unabii kwa sehemu haleluya haleluya that is paul huyo ni paulo explaining to us what love is all about akitueleza upendo simply love is when we are full of love tunapojawa na upendo we never criticize the other person atutoi makosa dhidi ya love covers a multitude of mistakes kwa sababu upendo ufunika makosa mengi and the lord is really shocking us because he is saying all the gifting that men desire to have na bwana anatushangaza kwamba anasema kwamba hiyo the gifts of prophecies the gifts of laying on on hands the gifts of speaking in other tongues he says all those will, they will pass away anasema ya kwamba hiyo hizo kipawa za kutoa unabii hizo vipawa zote zitapita pasipo na upendo they will pass away zitapita but the gift of love lakini kipawa cha upendo it endures forever huvumilia milele why is that so ni kwa nini hivyo because jesus himself is love kwa sababu yesu mwenyewe ndiye upendo jesus is love yesu ndiye and when you have jesus in you na iwapo una yesu na you will and you forever wewe utadumu milele because jesus is eternal life kwa kuwa yesu ni haleluya church haleluya today the lord is calling us to get the gift of love leo hii bwana anatuitia tupate karamu ya upendo the gift of love is christ himself karama ya upendo ni kristo mwenyewe haleluya haleluya when we have christ in us iwapo tuna kristo ndani yetu even our worst enemies hata adui wetu mbaya zaidi the lord gives us the heart of compassion upon them bwana anatupa roho ya huruma juu yao and that way na kwa njia ile you know jesus in another occasion he was saying you pray for your enemies wakati mwingine yesu alisema ombe adui yako and you bless those who curse you nawe bariki hao wanaokulaani the only way you can do that is when christ is full in you njia ya pekee ya kufanya hivyo na wakati yesu amejaa ndani yako haleluya haleluya because jesus will give you the heart of compassion kwa sababu yesu atakupa roho ya huruma so that you see your enemies going to hell ili kwamba uone adui zako wakati and you intercede for them because nawe, nobody ever wants anyone to go to hell nawe uwafanyie maombolezi kwa sababu hakuna yeyote angependa mwenzake kwenda jehanamu haleluya church haleluya kanisa so why is it then basi ni kwa nini even in the same family kwamba hata katika jamii moja the same moja, family of nyali jamii hiyo ya nyali we will tear one another tutararuana wenyewe kwa wenyewe haleluya nyali haleluya nyali could it be that you have left the first love i want to read from the book of revelation chapter 2 ningependa kusoma kwenye kitabu cha ufunuo mlango wake ni wapi and by the way i want to announce to you that we are in a revision hata hivyo ningependa kuambia we are in a revision session tuko katika hali ya marudio does anybody know what i'm talking about je kuna yeyote anayelewa anazungumza kuhusu nini when the students are about to see for the exams wakati wataniwa kwa karibu kufanya mtihani wao what do they do they revise isn't it in preparation for the main exam katika maandalizi ya mtihani there is an exam coming sasa hivi kuna mtihani unaokuja that exam is waiting for the messiah mtihani huo ni because of this if you fail you never see the messiah kwa sababu ukikosa hautawahi muona masihi
Hallelujah. So I'm actually looking, it's not actually the vision, this is what they they use when the students are about to sit for the exam. Rehearsal, thank you. It's a rehearsal. So we are in a rehearsal session. In a rehearsal, the students will make sure they have they they, they are uh, cautioned on how to behave when they are seated. How they keep their papers, their writing materials, what to do, what not to do. In preparation for the examination day. You know, the examiner will come and say, you know, you make sure that everything is in order. Make sure you don't have a phone before you. Make sure you don't have any writing materials other than the exam papers. So we are in a rehearsal church. And you must get every note that you are being given. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Because if we miss this exam, it is like we have failed all the other exams we have ever had. So he's saying in the book of Revelation chapter 2, please listen to me, Nyali, because this applies to you. You are equivalent to the church in Ephesus. And he says, this thing says, this thing says, he who holds the seven stars in his right hand, who walks in the midst of the seven golden lampstands. I know your works, your labor, your patience, and that you cannot bear those who are evil. And you have tested those who say they are apostles and are not, and have found them liars. And you have persevered and have patience and have labored for my name's sake and have not become weary. Nevertheless, I have this against you, that you have left your first love. Remember, therefore, from where you have fallen, repent and do the first works, or else I will come to you quickly and remove your lampstand from you, from its place unless you repent. But this you have, that you hate the deeds of Nicolaitans, which I also hate. Shika zile nyota saba katika mkono wake wa kuume na ambaye hutembea kati ya vile vinara saba vya tabu ya dhahabu na yajua matendo yako bidii yako na saburi yako najua kuwa huwezi kuvumiliana na watu wa ovu na ya kwamba umewajaribu wale wanaojifanya kuwa mitume na kumbe sio nawe umewatambua kuwa ni waongo umevumilia na kustahimili tabu kwa ajili ya jina langu wala hukuchoka lakini nina neno nina neno dhidi yako umeacha upendo wako wa kwanza kumbuka basi ni wapi ulikoangukia tubu na, kuf, na ukafanye matendo yale ya kwanza kama usipotubu nitakuja kwako na kukiondoa kinara chako cha taa katika mahala pake lakini una jambo hili kwa upande wako unayachukia matendo ya wa Nikolai ambayo nami pia nayachukia. Hallelujah church. Hallelujah kanisa. You have left everything. Umeacha kila you kitu. You are separated from the false teachings. Umejitenga na mafundisho ya uongo. You have nothing you have disassociated with yourself with everyone who goes to what what's he called? Ezekiel. You know? Now you have nothing to do with all that falsehood. Hauna chochote kujiuzi. You really love the Lord. Wewe una you have dedicated your life to serving the Lord. Hallelujah, church. Hallelujah, you Kanisa. really love Jesus. Kwa kweli and Yesu. your desire to serve the Lord. Yako ni you have dedicated your resources to serving the Lord. Yako ili Hallelujah, nyali. Hallelujah, nyali. We 
we are serving the Lord. Right now, we are in the midst of a very tough moment where we are supporting the Menengai Five. And I really want to encourage every one of us. If you have not done that, please do it very quickly. Do something for the Lord. For the meeting of the Lord. Hallelujah, church. Hallelujah. We make sure that at a kama, whatever you have, make sure you have participated in support of Menengai 5. I don't know for whatever reason, this morning, as I was preparing for the service, I don't know why I had within me that Menengai 5, it is like when Jesus, Jesus is entering into Jerusalem. I don't know. I don't know why this was coming to me like that. That even the disciples, they came out, all the followers of Jesus, they came out, they were just cheering Jesus as he was riding on the donkey on his way to Jerusalem and they were just celebrating. They were just celebrating Hosanna, Hosanna. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. And I can imagine the entrance of the mightiest prophets as they penetrate into Menengai. You can imagine from Westlands, huge crowds, they are waiting and they are waving their placards, they are saying, you know, it is where we were right, you know. They are celebrating the cripples. And in the midst of that celebration, the Lord is raising more cripples. And the celebration gets higher. And as they get to Naivasha, Kabingu Kona, Kabingu Kona, huge, huge crowds. They are celebrating. And as they celebrate, more cripples they are being raised. And the celebration gets higher and higher. And as they enter into Nakuru town, you can imagine the celebration. You can imagine. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. Tap the person next to you. Tell them the Messiah is coming. The Messiah is coming. The Messiah is coming. We have to be awake. We have to prepare for his coming. We have to prepare for the grand entry of Jesus into Jerusalem. With palm leaves. Waving them. And saying the king is coming. Hallelujah, worship team. Can you help me soon? And very soon we are going to see the king. Can you raise up on our feet? Let us just celebrate the king. Soon and very soon we are going to see the king.
is questioning. Na kwamba Bwana anapeana onyo. The Lord is cautioning you the church. Bwana anatupa yes, you have done all these things. Ya kwamba usio umefanya haya. But why are you coming out of your first love? Lakini ni kwa nini unaiwacha upendo wako wa kwanza? That made you run to the altar. Upendo wako wa kwanza Every time your heart was just thinking about the altar of the Lord. Wakati moyo wako ulikuwa unaanza kusimadhabu ya Bwana. Just trying to be in the altar of the Lord. Ukitamani kuwa katika madhabu ya Bwana. Everything is okay. Ukihakikisha yote iko shwari. You are the last one to leave the altar of the Lord. Wewe ndio wa mwisho kuiacha madhabu ya Bwana. Lakini ghafla there's no more joy. Hakuna furaha tena. No more pleasure. Hakuna kuraia. We have to bring the joy of the Lord in our hearts. Lazima tulete furaha ya Bwana. The joy of the Lord in our altar. Furaha ya Bwana. That we may serve the Lord with gladness. Ili kwamba tumtumikie Bwana kwa furaha. In the book of 1 John chapter 3 verse 2. Kwenye kitabu cha waraka ya Yohana mlango wa watatu mstari wa pili. against you 
Everywhere people become hostile to you. Places of work, everyone is against you. But I just want to encourage you in the Lord. Behold, what manner of love the Father has given us that we who are not worthy should be called the children of God. And now worship. They are just not coming out as the powerful instruments that the Lord has blessed us with. by the wind, late autumn trees without fruit, twice dead, pulled up by the roots, renting waves of the sea, forming up their own shame, wandering stars for whom is reserved the blackness of darkness forever. Jude 12, 13. Dosari katika karamu zenu za upendo wakila pamoja nanyi bila hofu wakijilisha pasipo hofu wao ni mawingu yasiyokuwa na maji yakichukuliwa na upepo miti isiyo na matunda wakati wa mapukutiko ambayo hunyauka iliyokufa mara mbili na kungolewa kabisa wao ni mawimbi makali ya bahari yakitoa povu la aibu yao wenyewe ni nyota zipoteazo ambao weusi wa giza ndio akiba waliowekewa milele haleluya haleluya when we dwell in the love of christ tunapodumu katika then we experience revival hivyo tunapata the lord is warning us lakini bwana that there will be those in our midst ya kwamba kunao wale wale Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And the Lord is comparing them to the clouds without water. If there is anything that I hate, they are the clouds that give you the force. Uh, 
expectation of rain kama kuna kitu ambacho anachukia ni yale mawingo ambayo anakupatia tumaini baada ya mvua everybody is like ah today it looks like it is going to rain kila mtu anafikiri kwamba leo itanyesha and then once those clouds disappear kisha wakati mawingo haya yanapotoweka the condition gets worse hali inakuwa mbaya kabisa it gets hotter inafanyika joto zaidi it gets drier na inakuwa kavu kabisa and it gets very windy with very dust you know dusty wind na inafanyika dhoruba yenye yenye mavumbi a condition that it 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 uh, depraves everyone of 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 uh, happiness hali inayenyima kila mtu furaha hallelujah hallelujah you can imagine it is like you are so hungry unaweza wazima kwamba unanjaa na and somebody gives you a pack na mtu anakupa kiji karatasi au kijifuko hivi with a picture of chicken and chips and a cold soda ikiwa na picha ya kuku pamoja na chips na soda baridi but when you open inside lakini unapofungua ndani yake there's nothing but makaratasi tu imefungwa hakuna chochote ila makaratasi iliyofungwa that's package may have given you a lot of expectation hiyo kijifuko kilikupa matumaini but was you open it lakini pundo unapofungua your condition gets worse hali yako inakuwa mbaya you become more hungry than you were before unafanyika mwenye njaa zaidi kabla you become more thirsty than you were before unakuwa mwenye kiu zaidi kuliko vile ulivyokuwa really anticipating kwa sababu ulikuwa na matarajio wow a cold soda you can imagine like when you are coming from a fast kama vile unavotoka kwenye kufunga saumu if it is anything you desire is something a cold drink kama kuna kitu unatamani ni kinywaji baridi and your body is just really fasting na mwili wako cold to drink unakiwa kitu baridi ya kunywa haleluya haleluya but when you open that bottle there's nothing maybe it's acid that is been put in there you Lakini, cannot take acid mbona sivyo sana unapokuwa hiyo chupa unakuta ni acid ambayo so, uzi there are those in our midst the bible is warning us against hivyo kunao miongoni mwetu ambao biblia inatuonya dhidi yao they may have mighty testimonies huenda wana ushuhuda they kuhu. may talk big about their relationship with their father wanaweza nena mambo makuu kuhusu uhusiano wao na but baba. they are nothing but clouds without rain lakini hao ni bure mawingu yasiyo na mvua so we have to separate ourselves from them hivyo sharti tujitenge mbali nao haleluya haleluya we must be the people of love lazima tuwe watu we must wapendo. go back to our first love lazima tureje upendo wetu loving our father in truth and in deed tukimpenda bwana kwa ukweli na kwa matendo desiring to serve the lord with joy with gladness tukitamani kumtumikia bwana kwa furaha being the agents of change tukiwa wale wanaoleta mabadiliko bringing hope to the hopeless tukileta matumaini kwa wasio na tumaini haleluya church haleluya kanisa desire to ensure that the house of the lord is truly the house of the lord ukitamani kuhakikisha kwamba nyumba ya bwana kwa kweli ni nyumba ya bwana because the house of the lord is supposed to be a house of prayer for all men kwa sababu nyumba ya bwana inapaswa kuwa nyumba ya maombi kwa ajili ya watu wote it's supposed to be a house of hope Ina for the hopeless inastahili kuwa nyumba ya tumaini kwa wale wasio na tumaini it is supposed to be a place of restoring back our lost faith inapaswa kuwa mahali pa kurejesha imani yetu iliyopotea a place of restoring our dignity mahali pa kurejesha heshima yetu because there are those who have fallen kwa sababu kuna wale ambao walianguka and when they realize oh i've been fallen like na, the prodigal son na walipogundua kwamba nimekuwa nikianguka kama mwanampotevu they expect when they get back home wanatarajia wanaporejea nyumbani the father will celebrate their restoration baba atasherekea urejesho wao everybody in the home will come and rejoice with them kila mtu nyumbani atakuja na kusherekea pamoja nao because they were lost but now they have been found kwa sababu walikuwa wamepotea lakini tazama wamerejea are you that person je wewe ndiye yule mtu are you that agent of love je wewe ndiye yule mtu wa kuleta upendo Tell your neighbor please be an agent of love the lord needs you Tafadhali ambie jirani yako tafadhali kuwa chombo cha upendo Be an agent of love Bwana anakuhitaji That all the time you bear love Ya kwamba kila wakati unazaa upendo Your actions are loaded with love Matendo yako yamejaa na upendo Whatever you do is filled with love Chochote utendacho kimejaa na upendo Whatever your actions they are filled with love Matendo yako yote yamejaa na upendo When you are serving the lord you are serving him with love 
Unapomtumikia Bwana unamtumikia kwa upendo. Don't serve the Lord with bitterness. Usimtumikie Bwana kwa machungu. That I've been praying to you, I've been asking you to bless me with a job. Up to now you have not blessed me with a job. And you are so mad with the Lord even in your prayers. Ya kwamba unamwambia nimekuwa nikikuomba unibariki na kazi nawe haujanibariki. Nawe umemkasirikia Bwana hata katika maombi yako. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We must love with all, with all our heart. Lazima tupende kwa moyo wetu wote na kwa mawazo yetu yote na kwa nguvu zetu zote. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So as I finish I want to read the scripture. Hivyo napomalizia ningependa kusoma ndio. They are very powerful. Zile mistari mbili za mwisho za Yuda zina nguvu sana. And he says unto him who is able to keep you from falling and to present you holy and blameless unto our father to be to him be all the glory honor forever and ever. To God our savior who alone is wise be glory and majesty dominion and power both now and forever biblia inasema kwake yeye awezae kuwalinda ninyi msianguke na kuwaleta mbele za utukufu wake mkuu bila dosari na kwa furaha ipitayo kiasi kwake yeye Mungu pekee mwokozi wetu kwa Yesu Kristo bwana wetu utukufu ukuu uweza na mamlaka ni vyake tangu milele sasa na hata milele amen haleluya unto him who is able to uh, present to him holy and blameless to present to us before our father holy and blameless and to him be all the glory honor and praise forever and ever kwake yeye ambaye anaweza kutuleta mbele za baba kwa utakatifu na bila dosari kwake yeye ni utukufu heshima na sifa milele na milele that we love him all the time ya kwamba tumpende wakati wote we give him all the glory ya kwamba tumpe tukufu our holy hands before him ya kwamba tuinue mikono yetu katika him zake and to thank him na kumshukuru that is able to keep ya kwamba anaweza kutulinda holy and blameless watakatifu even unto the coming of the father hata mbele za baba the coming of the messiah hata kwa kuja kwa if we truly mean that kama hakika tunamaanisha we with all our substance tutamtumikia kwa rasilimali because we will understand kwa sababu tunaelewa that our survival depends on him ya kwamba kuishi kwetu kuna mtegemea yeye that our job is in his hands ya kwamba ajira zetu zimi kwa ni mwake our businesses they need his breath ya kwamba biashara zetu zaitaji pumzi yake that our families need him ya kwamba jamii zetu za muhitaji so unto him ndivyo kwake yeye who is able ambaye anaweza to present us holy and blameless unto his coming kutuwakilisha watakatifu na bila mawa kwa kuja kwake unto him be all the glory kwake yeye utukufu wote heshima power nguvu and glory na utukufu forever milele and ever na milele
tunapeana maisha yetu kwake we can offer our hearts to him tunaweza toa mioyo yetu kwake and so if you are one of the many who are saying today i want to entrust my life to you lord jesus hivyo iwapo wewe ni mmoja wa wale ambao unasema bwana leo hii ningependa kutoa maisha yangu kwako i can trust you with my life ninaweza kukutumainia maisha yangu to give my life to you. Ningependa kupeana maisha yangu kwako. So if you are one of those people, may you raise up your hands and you say after me. Hivyo kama wewe ni mmoja wapo wa wale watu. Do you want to give your life to Jesus? Inua mkono wako juu na useme nyuma yangu iwapo ungependa hakika kwa kweli kupeana maisha yako kwa Yesu. You can say after me. Unaweza rudia nyuma yangu. Bwana Yesu. Bwana Yesu. Naja mbele zako. Naja mbele zako siku ya leo na kupatia maisha yangu Yesu Kristo unijaze na upendo wako wewe ndiye mwenye upendo wote wewe ndiye mwenye upendo wote na kuomba Yesu Kristo unijaze na upendo wako ili niweze kupenda hata wasiopendeka kuanzia siku ya leo nataka kuwa instrument ya upendo nataka kuwa instrument nami na kuhakikishia Yesu Kristo nami na kuhakikishia Yesu Kristo nitakupatia maisha yangu yote nitakupatia maisha yangu yote na kuanzia siku ya leo na kuomba Yesu Kristo kurudi kwako Ninaomba Yesu Kristo Kuandike jina langu Katika kitabu cha uzima wa milele Majina ya wale ambao wamejiachilia kwa ajili yako Na siku ya leo Naamini ya kwamba umeniokoa Asante kwa kuniokoa. Nimeomba nikiamini. Katika jina la Yesu Kristo. Amen. the bread and drink of the cup for he who eats and drinks 
na na muadhi mana eats and drinks judgment to himself not discerning the lord's body for this reason many are weak and sick amongst you and many sleep for if we would judge ourselves we would not be judged but when we are judged we are chastened by the lord that we may not be condemned with the world therefore my brethren when you come together to eat wait for one another but if anyone is hungry let him eat at home lest you come together for judgment and the rest I will set in order when i come kitabu cha wakorinto wa kwanza sura ya 11 kwanza mstari wa 23 pokea kutoka kwa Bwana yale nilio wapa ninyi kwamba Bwana Yesu kwamba Bwana Yesu usiku ule alipoosalitiwa alitoa mkate naye akiisha kushukuru akaumega akasema huu ndio mwili wangu uliotolewa kwa ajili yenu fanyeni hivi kwa ukumbusho wangu vivyo hivyo baada ya kula akakitoa kikombe akisema kikombe hiki ni agano jipya katika damu yangu fanyeni hivi kila mnywapo kwa ukumbusho wangu maana kila mlapo mkate huu na kunywea kunywea kikombe hiki mnatangaza mna mauti ya Bwana mpaka ajapo kwa hiyo mtu yeyote alaye mkate huo au kukinywea kikombe hicho cha Bwana isivyo stahili atakuwa na hatia ya dhambi juu ya mwi, juu ya mwili na damu ya Bwana inampasa mtu ajichunguze mwenyewe kabla ya kula mkate na kukinywea kikombe kwa maana mtu yeyote alaye na kunywa kunywea kunyu, na kunywa pasipo kuutambua mwili wa Bwana hula na kunywa hukumu juu yake mwenyewe hii ndio sababu wengi miongoni mwenu ni wagonjwa na wadhaifu na wengine wenu hata wamekufa lakini kama tungejichunguza wenyewe tusinge hukumiwa tunapo hukumiwa na Bwana tunaadhibiwa tunaadhibishwa ili tusije tukahukumiwa pamoja na ulimwengu kwa hiyo ndugu zangu mkutana mkutani kapo pamoja ili kula ili kula ngojane kama mtu akiwa na njaa ale nyumbani kwake ili mkuta, mkutanapo pamoja msije mkahukumiwa haleluya church you know i like the bible because the bible gives instructions on anything and everything ninapenda biblia kwa sababu biblia hupeana maagizo kwa ajili ya kila kitu so that now we are guided on everything ili kwamba sasa tunaelekezwa katika kila jambo as pertaining to the table of the lord kwa kuhusiana na meza ya bwana the bible wants that we should not come before the table of the lord in an unworthy manner Biblia inataka ya kwamba tusije katika meza ya Bwana katika njia isiyo stahili. What does that mean? Na hiyo inamaanisha nini? We cannot approach the table of the Lord with uh, with the last full hearts. Hatuwezi na mbele za meza ya Bwana na moyo wa tamaa. We cannot come if approach the table of the Lord with their people we have we are so bitter with hatuwezi enda mbele za Bwana kwa kumega meza ya Bwana tukiwa na uchungu dhidi ya watu wengine so that's why i will give you an opportunity if you know there is something disturbing you you should not fail to partake of the table of the lord because it's for our healing na hivyo ndivyo kwa sababu hiyo nitawapatia nafasi kama kuna jambo lolote linalo kuchumbua usikose kumega meza ya bwana because the bible says when we eat that table in a worthy manner kwa sababu biblia inasema tunapomega hiyo meza katika njia inayostahili with repentant hearts kwa moyo wenye toba with humble and contrite 
dry spirit with the heart of loving the Father. Then the Bible says we are going to be renewed in our strength. The Lord will heal us. The Lord will meet with our needs. And the Lord knows even the needs, even you yourself, you have not understood exactly what you need. But the Lord will go ahead of you. You make sure that he meets that desire. Hallelujah, church. So that in him we are filled with joy. But he says, if you approach the table of the Lord with an unworthy, in an unworthy manner, it is like you are taking Jesus back to the cross. And the Father will not excuse you for that. Because he shared in the pain that Jesus went through at that hour when he was asking, Father, have you forsaken me? Why have you forsaken me? Did you know that when Jesus died, he went to hell on your behalf? He went to hell and suffered the heat of hell so that you don't go to hell. Yourself. That is what a substitute death is all about. So Jesus went to hell on your behalf. So that you will not go there yourself. And so when you come before the table of the Lord in an unworthy manner, you are insulting that sacrificial act that Jesus did on your behalf. So I want you to now take this moment you repent before the Lord. None of us should not partake of the Lord's table. But make sure that you're right with the Lord. You know your heart. You know yourself. Go before him with sincerity. Tell him this is how my heart is. You are the one who created this heart. Even you, you are able to recreate a new one. The way David cried. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, God, oh Father, you who is so understanding, Jehovah, Father, I just want to bring this congregation before you. I'm asking you, Lord, that you may forgive us of any evil before you, Lord. The intentions of our heart, meditations of our heart, oh Father, the evils we have done before you, Lord, we repent before you. We have come before your presence, O oh Lord, and our evils have been exposed before you. We cannot lie before you, for Lord, everything is laid bare before you. We wish me the to Buana that you may revive our spirits, O oh Father, that you may give us another opportunity even to serve you, Lord, in holiness. Today we need you more than ever before. Lord, may you refill our cup that it may overflow. Help us, O oh Lord. Help us, Jehovah. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. Receive all the glory and honor. In Jesus' name we have prayed. Amen. Amen. We rest upon our feet. In seeking our ways, as they partake of this body, my Father, this, the body of Christ, that the healing, my Father, will come forth. Those who are weak in our midst, that you may strengthen them, O Father, that the weak may say they are strong, that the poor may say they are rich. Father, that even the hopeless may declare they have hope in you. I've set apart this bread for your use, Lord. I have blessed it in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Father, even the cup, I want to bring it before you. Lord, I ask that you be sanctified, Jehovah. Our trust is in you, Lord of glory. This is not ordinary drink anymore. It is the blood of Jesus. 
that will shed a covering for the remission of our sins. And you know, Father, even as we partake of this, all our sins will be forgiven, Lord. And you are going to heal our bodies, O oh Father, that are sick. Today, Lord, I ask that you may bless this cup and sanctify it, O oh Father. As you partake of it, Lord, this is the blood of Jesus we are partaking. This blood that will speak better things than those of Abel. Lord, I bless this cup in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. So we have the instructions there, okay? That even as we partake, as the bread is being shared, all of us are going to wait for one another. So the, the bread will be served, you don't partake of it until you are told when to partake of it. The cup also will be saved. served. This will go to it until we pray for it. I will give you the okay to start sharing in it. Please note, children under 12 years, they cannot partake of this. Because they have not truly come to the full knowledge of what it takes the blood of Jesus. So keep your children from partaking of this. So we are going to partake of the cup and the blood. So just hold on to it until I pray and I give you the um, go ahead to partake of it. Amen. Amen. Our lives be so dear to you. 
the true vine so that you can give forth fruits that's worth repentance. Today, Father, separate us from every ancestral class because the blood of Jesus is the new covenant. The new covenant, Jehovah, that enables us, Lord, to partake of all the promises that you have for us. And we know that your promises are here and amen in Christ Jesus. Today, Father, I bless this your church in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen and amen. Let's to the Lord.